Hello. <laughs> Got me some good old wings stuff. You know, I'll be doing this on camera with y'all. I got this plate. Boop, boop. I don't even, I ain't gonna even know if it's even because my damn computer got hooked up. Come on. Just got me some wings here. You know, I got some corn. Yeah, yeah. I had corn every day this week. Oh, you know, I got some ranch. Hell yeah, I got some ranch. Got extra barbecue sauce. Carrots and things. No, I ain't gonna eat all that. It's just here for color decoration. I'm gonna put all this. All right. Well, let's put that. Put that, put that over there. What's this here? Oh, wings and things. I'm not gonna yell at that. Is that thing even? Hell no. And I done disconnected my computer. Oh. All right. Let's see what we got here. Cajun. How many we gonna put on here? We gonna say Angelo song, or we just gonna hit them with a little bit up? I should have just. What I should have did with this hair, just put this on this uh, damn thing. Damn. Come! Yo, what up, what it is, and what it do? This is your favorite cousin, and I am back with another biker. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you can be notified when your favorite cousin posts another video. If you've seen the first tail, 20 minutes of this video, what we have prepared before us is some good old wing stop. Hell yeah, bird is back. Ranch dressing back here. Got some extra barbecue for the boo doo. They could have left this wheel. Said I could have just bought my sweet baby rays. Before we get into this whole long intro, before we get to this white, let's go ahead and get into this prayer because why you had on I'm scared to touch my head. I just hit that barbecue sauce on there. If it's something on my head, I'm gonna. Oh, she pretty. Bow it. God, thank you so much once again for the food that you have prepared for my body, Lord God. Lord, we come here right now to just say thank you for the blessings that you have stored upon us, Lord God. Lord, you told us to count on you, and that's what we come here to do. I ask you just give me the words to say in this video and let your light shine, Lord God, and never mind, Lord. We come here to follow your will. So, whatever it is, Lord God, we're listening and ready to receive. In your name, I pray. Amen. I set that up in front of you. Let's go ahead and get into this bite. Mm, mm, mm. You know what? I'm going to try this garlic parmesan. I'm really not a garlic parmesan fan. I just don't know. I've been craving it. Wow. Mm. This is like a fall. I'm going to put a fall on it. Mm -mm. Couldn't have that. <laughs> That's too dry there. Hold it. Told you they don't bother me till I sit down. I'm not a bonus wing fan. That little crunch they just delivered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Help us when give me no straw from a drink. I ain't know that it. That's what I've been waiting on right here. It's my food. Mm. This right here. I need a thumbnail. Girl, you just gonna take a thumbnail with that chicken like that? Hell yeah. All right. Oh, drip. Extra barbecue sauce. I'm gonna let you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh no. That barbecue sauce is gonna get sweet, baby. Raise and run for their money, though. I'm telling you, if you ain't had wings stop corn, listen to me. With that Cajun flavor on there, what a meal! I'm gonna do it. Mm. 
mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> Corn and butter pizza sauce don't go together. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Now, it gave me a pot, cold drink, whatever the hell you call it. I call it a cold drink. Ooh, forgot I got a Sprite. It's that Cajun one. It's that Cajun one now. I'm sure that got some more Cajun sauce on. Now, cause you a dipper, or you like your sauce already on now? I, I like both of them. I'm like a sauce person. I think y'all know that by now. I did it. I did it. That went bad, y'all. Yeah. Mm. No. For some odd reason, I got a headache. I don't know if it's this weather. I got a migraine. It's rare like I have a migraine or a headache. I'm not complaining, but I don't know if it's this weather because it's been like raining for two days here in Fort Worth. But my I don't know what it is, but the show gotta go on. Mm -hmm. Now, I was just talking to Ash on Instagram and she said, put on some sunglasses and get somewhere dark and sit down. I said, sis, I can't. Okay, I can't. Like, mm -mm. I gotta make a video because. I'm wondering if it's a hunger headache. You know what I'm talking about? Like the old people you say, <laughs> we just got a hunger headache. Well, I haven't eaten since yesterday since I ate them king crab. That son of a gun look like it came off a goose, ain't it? That's a big piece of bird right there. Damn. I don't know if that's chicken, huh? Ooh, that song gun must have came off a hen, ain't it? Ooh. You know, the hen is the male. And what now? The hen is the woman, ain't it? Well, whatever they are. Sauce that big. Ooh. Damn. She had a summer McGon leg on her dick. She, whoa. Mm -mm -mm. No. I love me a woman with thighs like that. That ain't the thigh, but leg. Mm -hmm. I'll just talk to you. I know damn well I ain't walking around here when I'm out like that. Let me drop here. But I have developed a, a migraine lately. It was been since last night. I don't know why. I'm thinking maybe it's the weather. To God alone goes to glory. I've never had allergy problems or like sinus problems, thank God. But I don't know, it's just it's just a migraine. And it's sticking. And you know what I think it is? I'm gonna just tell you the truth. I ain't had no taste in a few days. Mm mm. No. I know y'all had seen me on Snapchat Tuesday night. A lot of y'all thought that was a taste. It was water. Mm hmm. I'm gonna tell you how you know. True. Because I had just finished recording. And remember, I had water. And the video was partake, partaking. I know damn well that ain't it. <laughs> and the video was taken right after I did the video. That was water. Y'all want me to be an alcoholic so bad. Head ass. Yeah. That was water. On Snapchat, it's OMG underscore AB. On my own. Instagram, Cuzzo AB. I think I told y'all this before. But they got me over there. You know what I've noticed? I sound like somebody old ass drunk ass on the liner over there at that cookout. I sound like I'm always drunk, don't I? I don't be. I promise I don't. Anyway, <laughs> I just have to talk over there in that Mississippi. Mm -hmm. But I rock. <laughs> mm. 
So I'm glad I almost broke it too. I'm gonna tell you, we're not gonna be here long. No, we're not. We're not. We're not gonna be here long. Kenyatta, I love you, sis. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get into this conversation. Cause I, peep that. I know I done told you this before. But every time somebody tagged me in it on Instagram, I remember. Girl, they got me over there on Famous Birthdays. Who? Oh, famous? Well, who? Cousin AB? Ashley? What? Okay. Boom! Bam! Bow! Tell you the truth. Whole truth went but the truth. I'm grateful. Heck yeah, I am. I don't know. Wait. Girl, this is going to be a video here. I ain't Sylvia. I ain't Sylvia Perez. I'm just, I'm just a humble soul. I'm very modest about, you know, my accomplishments. I truly love it. Let me tell you something. Cuzzo, she on famous birthdays. She is. I'm so proud of you, Cuzzo, A.B. Like, you, girl, you killing it. Woo! Ding, 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 ding. We love you, Cuzzo. Ashley go to work. Hell yeah. Ashley got a full, <laughs> Ashley got a full-time job. So when people be like, Cuzzo, A.B., you famous. I be like, since where? Since how? You know? <laughs> Just how? I don't know. It's a very humbling experience, though. It really is, man. Um, so, oh. When you can Google because of every birthday, and it'll, it'll, the famous birthdays will pop up. And they got me, like, on this mukbang list. And I'm, like, number 39. And so God alone goes to glory. And I owe a lot of that to y'all. You know, I come here just grateful every video. Okay. You know, if y'all didn't watch the videos, where would I be? You know, that's why I was. I just say, man, listen, I'm gonna come here. I ain't gonna complain about nothing. I probably had a hell of a day, a bad day. You'll never freaking know. You know why? Because I'm coming here with my family. We're gonna sit down every morning at 8:18, and we're gonna make this the best freaking 20 minutes of our life. And when you do that and you focus on happiness and joy, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like the devil try to come in, but God rewards you when you being positive. And he rewards you when you just keeping your eye on him. No matter what you're going on, when I turn this camera off, I'm Ashley. Ashley, <laughs> she's a humble soul. Ashley fit to go get back in that bed and watch Criminal Mind. Because I'm the one that be having that little taste. But when you, you know what I'm saying, when you obey, I feel like when you obey, you know, what your calling is or whatever it is that God has you on a mission to do. You'll be rewarded for that. And I'm a humble soul. So it's just like, all of this is just honestly extra. Because I, like I tell you, I could sit on this platform. And did, if I did make a dime, I would still do it. To be honest, I did in the beginning. So if it was not for y'all, I wouldn't be on Famous Freaking Birthdays. And I think that's just so freaking amazing. Like, me? Me? God be like, what the hell? My wife. Woo. No, I'm grateful, man, for y'all, y'all and God, this opportunity. And I was watching, um, oh. Oh. This is a good meal, huh? I was watching Simply Food by T.Y. And he was speaking on influencers. You know what I mean? And it's just like, although I don't want to be on a pedestal, at all to, to the reality of it is we are because we are influencers and i just pray that even in my flaws i'm just making y'all proud man i really do it's my fault. try to carry my, myself in a demeanor these days that you know what i'm saying that my grandma could be proud of and she proud man my grandma would say she proud of me so What's a gift for us, wasn't it? I just hope I'm making y'all proud. I'm hoping that even though I, like I said, I don't want to be on that pedestal that even in the midst of my flaws and me being human that I'm producing some bomb ass content. Ooh, woo. What? I know it. I'll be all over the place. What? It's just, a, it's just amazing what, you know what I'm saying, a year could do. It's amazing. It is. Because I got a question. I do. How you been? How you been? Like mentally. You know what I'm saying? Like how are you mentally? You been doing good? You been doing well? <laughs> they been running you raggedy at that house, ain't they? Girl, you doing homeschooling? 
You homeschooling them kids? Huh? I know it. Now you realize they really wasn't sick at that school. And it wasn't the teacher. Mm-hmm. I could have told you that. Them children is bad. Well, they're not bad. They misunderstood. Bad. But, and what else been going on? Right. Okay, let's talk about it because I know you're going to ask me. You got to heal first. Yes, you do. You got to heal first. Let me tell you something. If you're not in the process of healing and taking time for yourself, don't go bother nobody else and make them part of your healing process because you're not going to do anything but hurt them too. You got to take your time and heal. What do you like to do? Do you like to go to the park? I see us in the park. Right. Do you like to go to the park? Do you like to take a drive? Do you like to sit at the bar and have your little taste? So I'm saying when you're in that healing process, and I'm in the healing process right now. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm in that shut down process, but I like it because you find out more about yourself. Don't go bothering nobody else if you know your ass ain't healed yet. Don't do that. Because what's going to happen is hurt people going to hurt people. That's why I said I'm just sit my ass over here. And I'm going to relax and I'm going to take my time with it. Ooh, let me ease your mind. You got to heal first because it's so important. And I know that healing process is the hardest part because nobody wants to be alone. Even when you, you know what I'm saying, breaking off friendships. Not just relationships, but anything. I know nobody wants to be alone, but at the same time, it's so vital. You get to learn. I get to learn myself all over. Hell yeah, the Mm-hmm. No. Oh. Now, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I talked to Earl the other day. I did it. He apologized. And Earl wanna come on the show. Now I don't know how cool you would be with that or whatever the situation is, but Earl wants to come over here, he wants to clear his name. Now if you would like to have Earl on this channel, let me know what your thoughts are. But Earl has decided he wants to come over here and redeem himself. Because he done been through a hell of, hell of a lot of a shenanigans in the last year. Yes, he had Barbara. Yes, Barbara Jackson. Yeah, he done been through a lot. But Earl wants to come over here and he wants to do a mukbang for you. Let me know if that's cool. If you're okay with Earl, just say bring Earl on in the comments. But I talked to him. He apologized. I said it was up to y'all if he'd come over here. So, uh, I really don't want this raggedy ass over here. No, I don't. Mm-mm. No. Mm. He still ain't caught up on that child support. No. Hell no. Nah. I don't want no deadbeat over here. No. Uh-uh. No. Hell no. Right. He went and got him a new car. My married them, I don't know where they at. Girl, he went and got him a damn Winnebago. Right, I said, what the, what did you bring in her? Now, <laughs> come out. He got left up on that cash and care. He said when the women took everything he had, that's all they could afford. Girl, you wouldn't believe this, you know you wouldn't. Now, he went down there and got a Winnebago. Do you know that car is $600 a month and he is paying 52% interest yeah! I said, Earl, you should have just walked. You should have put that fake ass leg on and just walked. Right. He done took his ass up there and bought a winter baby. Girl, he'd be better off on that peg leg. Yes, he's trying. Girl, it's badly moving here. I'm pretty sure hell, he can walk faster than that winter baby. Girl, he got one leg. Yeah, it's a van. Right. He looks suspicious. Anyway, but let me know if you shall have him. Yes, you shall. Right. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm a choose. I got a message today. I got it. These videos be all over the place. So you still love me? You still love me? You still with me after two years? You've been riding with me for two years. I thank you. Oh, what a journey. Now. This is on my heart. And this message is for you <laughs> i want to let you know i don't give a damn how fresh you are if you don't take care of your kids you a fresh ass deadbeat hell yeah you are you got one responsibility out here and you produce them you need to take care of them i don't give a damn what jordans you got if you ain't taking care of your kids you a deadbeat and i don't understand you women that's walking around here with them deadbeats you need your ass whooped Take that fake ass Gucci belt off and go down to that schoolhouse and go to them PTA meetings.
So Jimmy is up there at that school showing his ass and he trading masks with them damn kids up there. And you ain't even notice that every time he come home, he got on somebody else's mask. I don't give a damn how fresh you are. If you a fifth, I don't give a oh, I'm for the curse your ass clean out. I'm sick of it. I was for the truly go off on you. I don't give a damn how fresh you are. If you ain't taking care of your kids, you a deadbeat. That boy done came home with four different masks this week. Four different masks. And all of them dirty. And you ain't even noticed it. You just pick him up in that damn 72 Chevy with the beat bumping. And you ain't even notice he got on somebody else's mask. You need your ass whooped. I don't give a damn how fresh you are. If you ain't taking care of your kids, you a deadbeat. Hell yeah, I said it. You about worse as Earl. We got damn well Earl behind on child support. I'm to go. I haven't talked enough this damn bit. I don't talk about people's kids. But I'm about that. Ooh. I'm not gonna talk about nobody else's kids. I love you. It's not on you, it's in you. And what's in you, they could never freaking take away. Smile today. You never know when you go into a store whose whose life you could save with just by being kind. Imagine if the world was so freaking kind that it didn't matter what color you were, what your sexuality was, whether you're a woman or a man. Imagine walking to an earth, into a store where everybody is so kind. The only way to change that is to change you. You have to start the process of being kind. Be kind to people. Your smile could change somebody's freaking life. Your smile could turn somebody's whole freaking day around. Imagine if we were all just freaking kind and we didn't waste time saying something negative. Instead of saying something negative to somebody, turn it into a positive. If they shoes dirty, you never know what their situation is. Don't talk about them. If you got some clean ones at home, go get them and help them out. Stop talking about people and be kind to freaking people because you never know what somebody is going through. Smile today. You can change somebody's life with just your smile. Because if we can laugh together, we can live together. And if we can live together, we can love together. Just remember that. This is your favorite cousin. Hey, this is your favorite cousin. Oh, hey, you already know what to do. You already know what to do. Guys, love me. Don't forget to drink a baby. This is your favorite cousin. Let's get it. Welcome to the shit show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take my holiday ass on. Two years. And I've been on this damn camera hollering like I just ain't got a mic up there. Like, oh, that's just me. I'm going to go. Hell yeah, I'm cleaning up. That means I'm ready for you to go. The credits for the come on. The theme song for the come on. Hell yeah, it is. I'm gonna go watch CNA. I mean, uh, Criminal Minds. Yeah, I'm gonna go watch Criminal Minds. Yeah. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm gonna put this up for later. Wait a minute. Girl, I got some stuff on this table. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna put this up for later. Probably eat this in the middle of the night. Probably been dropping on the tables and eating people's food. So, I have to put it in the refrigerator. I don't know. I did it go. I love you. The thing song. The thing song. Right here. 